Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to talk about KDE uh, Plasma, and this is Manjaro 20.0.3. And I've showed customization in the past uh, with KDE. Uh, this is similar. Um, there are some other changes that I do now that I didn't do in previous videos, so I'm going to try to share them here. Uh, and I'll just begin by, obviously, I changed the wallpaper to my liking. Um, and what I also did was remove the bottom panel uh, that was default. And I changed it. Let me go in here and uh, show you. Edit panel. Uh, actually, it would have been this. Hold on, let's see. Add panel. It would have been a default panel that was on the bottom. And so I just removed it and then I added an application menu bar, which is this panel here. And, and then I just moved it to move it. You would, um, if I edit the panel, you could, you have screen edge and height. You would just grab with screen edge, you click your mouse and drag. You can drag it to the left, the right, the bottom. I moved it to the top. I added a global menu. I also added a system tray and these are widgets. So you you can add a system tray widget, which is the default when you have it down here on the when you when you install Manjaro, the panel will be on the bottom and you would have this system tray. You wouldn't have the global menu. You have to add that. That's a widget. And I added a, a panel spacer in the center to separate left from right. Um, and then I left it at its default um, height, which I'm not quite sure what it is. I guess I can show you if I, if you drag it, it might have been, might have been 34, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, and then I also added uh, a trash can widget on the top here. So, and then I've got screen re recorder running here right now for the video. And then when you're done manipulating this panel, you can just close it here and it's it's done. Um, but that's to implement a global menu. I don't need to see it all the time, so I have it on auto hide. And I guess I should show you how to do that. So if you edit panel, when I was right click, um, well, let me go back. Let's close it. So right click, left click, edit panel. And then you have more options here. If you click here, you, I also have it centered. I guess I should have said that. And then this is where I enabled auto hide. So there's a lot of things you can do in, in KDE, as you probably already know. Um, but you do have to play with it uh, to learn, you know, to learn what the features are. Um, also, which is important, is these arrows allow you to notice as I have this, I shrunk the panel to this size at this end here and here. And the fact that I have it centered, I can maneuver it with these arrows. So they're on both sides. And you, I think you only need to do one. Let me just show you if I do. No, that won't do it. If I pull it out, now it's going to come out further. Um, let me push it. Let's try it the other way. Yeah. I go this way now it, it starts shrinking it down a little bit and so just you have to play with these arrows but this is how you would adjust this uh, the length of the panel and then you can close it here once you're done with whatever you're trying to achieve and then and then these are other ways of manipulating the panel this um, I don't know what they call this bar uh, but it was newer in the newer plasma versions so you can add a widget, and this is where I added the global. If you type in global, G-L-O-B, global menu, I click, and I dra uh, drag it, drag, drag it up to the panel here is how I got that up there. And then the system tray, just type in system tray. Uh, well, there it is. System tray, you click. Notice it has one on there. That means I've already have it installed here. So it's just telling you, you already got one uh, enabled. 
I don't know if you can have multiple ones. You probably could on, an, on another panel. Um, so then I clicked and drag, drug it up to the, up here on this side here. So, um, and then of course your trash, as I mentioned, you type in trash and you'll get the trash. I'll just kind of show you guys, but it's pretty elementary. And of course there's a one because it's already here. So just click and drag and that's how you get those widgets in, into the panel. And of course I liked auto hide because there's no need to show it. Uh, most times I don't need to see it and I like to have as much screen space as I can get. So that's that. Uh, I did install a little side panel here. Um, so I'll right click, edit panel. This panel was a, um, yeah, let's see if I can remember what kind it is. If I add a panel. It would have been an empty panel. So I cl clicked emp empty panel when I added this in. And at first it was at the full length of the uh, display. And what I did was, of course, I shrunk it down. Let me go into edit again. By get these arrows, as I mentioned, you, now you also have some things at the very end here. And you have to be aware of these. This allows you to shrink it or bring it um, now let's see, let's, let me see if I remember right. Well, for now I'm gonna leave it where it is, but just be aware that you've got these little markers on the end and you may need to move these also to uh, configure this panel the way you want it. So um, what else can I show you here? So I basically I shrunk it down to this end here and I gave it a certain uh, width and then um, I put it on auto height. So these are just my devices. Basically, I wanted in this panel on auto height. And this is the latte dock. So the latte dock you have to install uh, through add remove in Manjaro. So uh, these are favorites. Now to add a f any favorite in this little panel here, you would just go to whatever it is that you want. Right click, add to favorites. And that's how you would add it into this, your favorite panel here. Um, so I put kind of my oh, system tools, the things I might want more in this panel. And so, and I, and then you can click and drag them and push them, put them wherever you want. So if I see how I just click, drag, uh, maneuver them where you want. Uh, I put add remove here. So if you click on add remove, then when you're in the, uh, this is your package manager, um, it will also tell you when there's uh, updates automatically. And if you care to want to see uh, if there's any other updates, you would just click on updates and it'll go through the process of checking for updates. Now, I'm not sure why other, okay. It's just telling it was up to date. Now I'm going to go back to browse and then you want to go to the left here where the little magnifying glass is. Click on that and I'm going to put latte and there there you can see latte dock. So it says remove because it's already installed and I just installed this. I didn't install these other um, little components. Uh, if you know more about latte you may want to you may want to install these additional op, um, um, options I guess. I just installed just the basic latte dock and when you install it it doesn't doesn't just appear you'd have to go into your start menu and then you would go under it's probably yeah it's under utilities so with utilities once you click it it would just it'll auto start down here and there might be only three items in it and this is where you then would manipulate the latte dock so once you've engaged it uh, for the first time, as I mentioned, you'll see it down here. Then you can start configuring it. Um, you can just take items from here and drag them to the dock. That's one way. Uh, or you can also uh, right click on the dock, left click dock settings. And just wait a second. And as you noticed here, it's on the right. That's because I have it in advanced mode. If I take it off advanced mode, it shows it in the center. So my recommendation, it depends on what you want to, you know, how much you want to learn. 
play with advanced mode gives you more options so i just click advance and now i have all the options that come with this latte dock so um, i just would uh, caution you to to play with this a uh, little incrementally so that you don't there's there's probably a reset button here somewhere but um, I just incrementally play with what the only changes I really want to do at a time and most for the most part the default setting is uh, maybe good enough for you uh, but you can adjust the the um, size of the uh, icons you can, uh, there's a million and one things you can change here. So I, I can't go into all of this because it just, it would take too much time. So I was just showing you basically the basics here of the latte doc. Um, so I'm going to close it out. Now we're back here. Um, I better bring up uh, things to do after you. This is a minimal install. I guess I should have said that from the beginning. This is a minimal install of of Manjaro Pla uh, KDE Plasma. So that means you have to install, manually install uh, whatever apps you choose uh, as opposed to the default uh, pack, uh, packages that come with the, um, the main um, Plasma uh, ISO. So be aware that on a minimal install, you're going to do the work. And uh, of course, that's why you would install a minimal install. Uh, so you have an option for minimal as well as the full install. Just be aware of which one you choose when you download it. And uh, and basically, I'll just kind of go through this, the things I've done. Um, once you've installed it, you would uh, do any further ups, updates. Um, then you might want to install the language pack. Um, I don't use KDE Wallet, so I disabled it. So these are going to be in the show notes. This is essentially the show notes. Um, and it's just what I've done uh, that goes in detail to kind of give you a, a, some order or sense of uh, process of what to do or what you might want to do. Um, everything is, is truly a, a matter of preference. So this, these are just ideas and things that I've done. And I've installed this many times. So, you know, I've trial and error. I've learned a little along the way. And this is my attempt at sharing that. So um, moving on, uh, I installed BleachBit, uh, KeyPass XC, uh, Chromium, MPV, DeadBeef, LibreOffice, Etcher, uh, GNOME Dish Utility. And I also enabled the right cache in GNOME Dish Utility. If you have any questions to this, I suggest uh, start by Googling what I've written, like how do I enable the right cache with GNOME Dish Utility? Um, because I can't answer all these questions. Uh, you know, it's it's really a question of a, you know, applying yourself, making the effort to learn on your own. This is to get you started. And uh, I had to learn on my own, and this is what I've done. Just basically Googling. That's how I've learned everything I've ever known about Linux. So, and I'm not a whiz. I just know how to install Linux, uh, figure out some of the problems, but there's a lot of stuff I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so then I talk about changing the global theme to Breeze Dark, if desired. Um, there's some important information there, uh, changing window decorations. Just go on and on and on. Um, I'm not going to read all of this. There will be some links here and uh, some useful links, basically, that give you other ideas of, of customizing KDE. Um, what else do I want to show? Oh, I had to install a network printer. That was a little tricky, but um, I put the process here and how I got it going. Um, Possibly how to speed up KDE, um, my comments, possible issues, uh, and that's it. So um, this is just to kind of get you going. The show notes is where everything is. So I suggest you read it if you want to know more about uh, the changes I made or, or changes you may want to do. So 
Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, and until next time.